Okay, this is so exciting. I just got off a Zoom call. It was like a group project Zoom call. So brutal. So I just, I'm hungry and I feel chatty. I have to make dinner and I'm also, I wanna make cookies. Here we go. We're using what's in the fridge. So that means we're using this tempeh. Yeah, I'm not pleased about it either. Um, and then I have like a bunch of veggies and stuff. I think we're gonna try a Kung Pao tempeh recipe that I found and then probably just like solid chocolate chip cookie we could do oatmeal raisin i really like oatmeal raisin cookies i can't lie this is so exciting crispy oh my god i hate soft cookies like genuinely i wouldn't really want to eat it like i wouldn't enjoy it but a fucking crispy cookie mm. at my dining hall at my old school that was like the greatest thing ever they would burn the shit out of these oatmeal raisin cookies and no one liked the oatmeal raisin because they are stupid and oh i'm so excited okay 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 in the interest of full transparency i'm not great at multitasking so the fact that i'm trying to cook both a meal and a dessert and talk to you guys is not going to go super well so editing this is going to be brutal as well as just like living it's going to be kind of brutal so the question is what do i make first i'm going to make rice we're going to start with the rice which is also tricky because i have the thing in my hand where is my rice cooker forgot this is my new appliance section what is this? it smells like i need like a bib where i can put this i'll set you guys up right here okay oh and see i already forgot i'm supposed to have a topic in mind oh and the fucking cup always gets i'm like inches away from going on amazon and buying one of those wireless mics right now i don't know if i can do this this is too many things going on in my little life where That's too much. Okay, we're just gonna go with this, I guess. Maybe a dash more. Where's the lid? It's like bright red, is it not? Oh. We're gonna make the cookies first because while they're baking, then I'll make like dinner and eat because I feel like there's something wrong with my oven. It's adorable, clearly, but there's something wrong with it. But motherfucker, I mean, <laughs> when recipes call for room temperature butter, I just want to scream and cry okay this is so idiotic i don't even know if i have enough okay good i have one stick left guys i don't know if we can we can do a topic of conversation i don't know if i can handle it 24 servings do you know what i don't need 24 cookies we're doing a quarter recipe oh but how many eggs oh i guess we'll do a half recipe okay we're gonna let this butter room temperature and we're actually gonna start on dinner because here we are which would make sense anyway because of the rice Whew, is it fun to be me? Now the first step in this recipe is to steam the tempeh, but I did that already. So I guess we'll make our sauce. It's my favorite game of me not having any of the ingredients that it calls for and then using other ones and then being like, mm, it doesn't actually taste that great, which of course it doesn't. Half cup, that sounds like really an awful lot. I'm not gonna lie, eight ounces of tempeh. I feel like that's nice. We'll do a half, half recipe. I feel like nobody talks about one, just like how much time it takes to stay alive in general, but also like if you are someone that grocery shops and cooks and does all that shit. I don't know. It doesn't need to always take as long as I make it take, but calls for grapeseed oil. I'm going to use olive oil. This is also like the good olive oil because, oh wait, no, it's not. It's a fat lie. Hold on. I got good olive oil for Christmas, but I guess that's not it okay well that's odd red pepper flakes i don't actually have those but i do have this crispy onion chili oil thing that i always forget i own so we're just gonna toss some of that in there and that'll act as the spice i guess pinch of salt we have our soy oh we need our garlic and our ginger do you know how many times a recipe calls for rice vinegar and i say oh I should probably get that when I go to the store. And then I go to the store and I think, oh, I think I have that in my apartment. And then I get to my apartment and I say, oh, I should get that next time I go to the store. And then the cycle repeats. Or I think, oh, I just don't need it. But clearly I do because almost every recipe that I use calls for it in some capacity. Soy sauce, garlic, rice vinegar. What am I gonna use as a replacement? Apple cider vinegar, also don't have. Lemon juice, I think they do have that. I'm just gonna do a splash and we'll see. The room temperature butter will be the bane of my existence, especially because I know it actually like makes a difference. Oh my gosh, I almost put that all over my computer. Also, speaking of almost spilling things on my computer, my poor computer has been through it. There was an incident with a cinnamon roll rolling across my keyboard 
I just accidentally got a piece of chocolate stuck in the fold and I couldn't get it out. So it like melted in the fold of my computer. There's <laughs> my friend the other day was like, wow, your keyboard's really greasy. So in case you're wondering, I do like to snack and do work. Let's taste the sauce. I don't usually do that. Oh, that's solid. Okay. Tempeh goes in. Toss it around. Get it. Ew. Now we prep our veggies. Broccoli. Pepper. And I think that's it. Sometimes I do onion, but mm, not feeling it today. I'm trying to think of any like fun anecdotes to share. I was talking to one of my friends the other day, and she had some quote along the lines of like, so many funny things happen to you. I'm trying to think of what the specific anecdote was about. I don't know. I feel like I have a decent amount of good work stories. Let me think if I can pull one of those out. I've worked a lot of jobs. That's like a fun, a fun fact about me. Like my resume is full of non-career related jobs and I've probably had seven different jobs in my life. So like I could fill my resume, they would just be like, none of these are relevant at all. Okay, but can you say that you worked at a trampoline park and at Michael's craft store and at like eight different restaurants? <laughs> there was one time I was working at a bakery this is a this is a chain bakery, okay? And it rhymes with Rumble Rookies. I worked there for a bit. Um, it was like over the summer. Could have been better, could have been worse. I made like decent tip money though. That was like the nicest thing. It's like it was split between everybody. But, like the fact that people are tipping on five dollar cookies is crazy. There was one day I was working. This isn't that good of a story. I'm not gonna lie, but basically I was working, and there was like one guy there who was super sweet, and he was like he was. He was always moving, he was always doing something. And so he was cleaning and we closed at like, I don't even know, nine or 10. And it's like seven o'clock and he was mopping. I didn't realize he was mopping. I went to the front to go do something and the floor was wet. And I basically like banana peel slipped, like fully banana peel slipped. And it was one of those situations where like, I wasn't really friends with anyone during that shift so instead of like everybody laughing about it it was like oh my gosh are you okay like oh no and i was definitely okay i was just wildly embarrassed because it actually fucking hurt i like landed on my back it was wild and before you asked no i wasn't wearing no slip shoes so like okay i've been wearing the same fucking shoes at all of my jobs and i've never fallen until then i forgot to share this part of the story which is arguably the worst part there was like four of us working, including my manager, but my manager was like in the back when it happened. But as soon as he walks to the front, the guy who did the mopping was like, hey, like and fell. And then proceeded to like explain the whole story to him, which like I was hoping would just like slide under the radar. Nobody would know, but he called me out immediately. So and then, of course, my manager was like, oh, are you OK? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. So just to add insult to injury. There's a lot going on.